This video will take you through steps to upload data via the R-Sync service. The first thing we need to do is to ensure our data matches one of CEDAR's standard data formats, such as NetCDF, NASA Ames or BAD CSV, and contains as much metadata as possible in the header for the BADC CSV and NASA Ames files or in the global attributes for the NetCDF files. There are checkers for these standard formats and can be found on the Depositing Data FAQ help page. Once we are happy with the data, next we need to look at the file names. CEDAR does have its own file naming convention for observation data. If you don't use the CEDAR file naming convention, please add a readme file that explains the file names used and directory structure. Now we have our data sorted, we can start the upload process. I will now take you through each step to upload your data. Step 1. Go to arrivals.cedar.ac.uk and log in with your CEDAR username and password. If you don't have one, then please register for a CEDAR account via this account link here. Once you have logged in via the begin button, it will take you to this page. Note on the page there is a link to the step-by-step -step instructions. And before uploading the data, please read the deposit agreement here. To upload the files, you will need to create a new delivery or choose an existing delivery. For new directories, click on New Delivery and add a suitable title, either the project, the instrument name, model name or what data contains. And press the Create button. Now we have created a directory to upload our data to. We need to upload our data via our sync. I am going to click on the alternative method and make a note of the command that I will need to edit. For this method, you need to have the rsync command installed, which comes by default on a Linux slash Unix system, or alternatively, Windows users will have to install it yourselves. Copy the command that was on the arrival service and edit it to add in the location of your data files where it says path to source. Run the command and enter your rsync password when prompted and your data will then be synced with the upload directory. You will need to generate the rsync password on the arrival service which is located below the command line. You may need to wait up to an hour before you can use it. The next step is to create and upload a metadata YAML file and this is used by the CEDAR data scientist to make a catalogue record. Make sure you include as much information as possible. To do this we'll go to the step by step guide and down to step 7. We'll then click on the create button which will take us to the YAML file creator. You can add all the different information in each of the boxes and at the top of each box on the eye gives you more information of what should be included and what shouldn't be included. For example, in the title all acronyms must be expanded. In the description we may need to make sure that you include the what, where, when, how, why and who and this forms the abstract of the catalogue record. We also then have the authors, a coverage, a temporal range, a lineage statement, quality statement, add any links to any relevant documentation, a project page with the PIs and funder and a NERC grant reference number if applicable. And we can also add in information about instrument that has been used to collect the data or any computation so where a computer model or a climate model has been used. And then at, once you've added all your information in, click the download metadata file at the bottom of the page. Now we have the metadata file, we need to upload this by the web loader by pressing browse, selecting the file and then uploading it. We then will need to review submission and submit the data. It's really important that you do confirm submission, otherwise CEDAR will not be notified of the data submitted. CEDAR will then be in contact with you to discuss the files and the archiving of the data and to create the catalogue records. Once a CEDAR officer has created the catalogue records, they will ask you to confirm that you're happy with it before it is all published. If you do have problems, please contact the CEDAR help desk. For more information, please visit our Depositing Data FAQs help page.